Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Friday, June the 25th, 2021, and this is episode 3574. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Angry. Stay tuned. So when I was growing up, I decided and determined I am not going to grow up and become a grumpy old man. (laughs) Anger was something that I struggled with when I was a teenager. And um, anger is something that has played a part in my life from time to time and now even as a 70-year-old, I find myself being frustrated and expressing anger from time to times. You know, sometimes not in overt ways, damaging ways, uh, as far as, you know, breaking things or whatever. But sometimes just grumbling. Grumbling has been something that has come into my life and... I let it in, right? And uh, I didn't want to grow up to be a grumpy old man, but I find myself grumbling from time to time. Today's devotion comes from a devotional reading from the Version Bible app that I've been doing with some friends. It's called Fast from Wrong Thinking. Uh, this is day 31 of, of 40, and so I want to give acknowledgement Uh, to where I'm getting this material from, but it spoke to me so much today, and I want to share it with you. Anger is a powerful emotion, right? It can hurt yourself. It can hurt others. It leads to bad decisions, damaged relationships, (laughs) stress, even physical sickness. But we can change that today. And let me share with you some ways that you can do that. The first is discover the power within you. Remember that anger comes from a sense of powerlessness. When we feel powerless to change something, we get afraid leading us to anger. But 2 Timothy 1.7 says, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power love, and a sound mind. So meditate on that verse. You have power. The second is listen quickly and speak slowly. Oh, this is so important. Can I just say it again? Listen quickly and speak slowly. That's the message of James chapter 1 and verse 19, where it says, be quick to hear, slow to speak. Then the result is that you will be slow to to anger. If you follow that pattern, right? Quick to hear, slow to speak, then anger will lose its grip. Third, realize that anger does not work. I mean, it may it may feel good for a moment, but it doesn't produce or achieve anything. James 1:20 says, "For the anger of man does not achieve the righteousness of God." If you had an employee that didn't work, produce, or achieve, you'd fire them, right? So fire anger from your life. Why? Because it doesn't achieve anything. Fourth, deal with unresolved conflict today. Ephesians 4.26 says, Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Make peace with whomever you have something against today. Don't let it fester. And you'll be amazed at how much less you will feel angry. It's okay to feel anger, but direct it in the right way. The next verse in Ephesians chapter 4 says, don't give the devil an opportunity to work. The devil wants you to blame others for your anger. But realize there's no one to blame but the devil. And like a soldier with a machine gun, 
who just discovered the enemy, turn your weapons on him. Use your anger to resist the devil by speaking the word with an aggressive force and eliminate his opportunity to work. Finally, get the whole picture. So often the reason we get mad is that we only see a snapshot of what's really going on. As soon as anger comes, ask God to open your eyes to see the big picture. So, believe this today. I am free from the power of anger. I have power over it. I have power, love, and of a sound mind. I will not act rashly, but choose to listen quickly and speak slowly. And I say to you, anger, (laughs) you are fired. Father, thank you so much for the peace that passes all understanding that is our inheritance as your children. Lord, help us not give in to those fears and feelings of anger. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmana.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Have a great weekend. Till next week, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.